So, we need to make a pipe for the road race bike. Um, it's been a while since I've made a pipe. I mean, most of those pipes up there I made, I don't even know if you can see them. Because I can't see this because the cam, the phone is the wrong way. Man, we got to come up with a better system. But, so I machined these uh, header molds. I made two of them. I made one that's three degrees and one that's six degrees. And I made them uh, with enough variable through all of it that I can kind of mix, mix and match. So, you know, three degrees going into six degrees. But I can use section. So I kind of figured where these pipes are. This was the three inch section. So I need a section here. And then I've got... Uh, One's marked out for the six degree, which I'll bend in a second. Um, you know, I've never used um, mild steel for uh, header material for 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 doing a pipe. I've always used stainless because I've run at the salt, and I'm probably and stainless is such a pain in the ass to work with. I mean, it makes a, a great pipe and, you know, the salt doesn't corrode the shit out of them. So I guess there are some benefits. I think I'm going to cut this into four pieces because I just want this section. So I'll do, you know, two right hands, two left hands, and then of the six degree, two right hands and two left hands. Um, so that's it. Let me cut this. Hang on. All right, so here's a section. Um, and I don't remember how much this draws back. We're pretty um, close there. Okay, let's see if we can squash this bad boy. You know, this is going to leave a lot of, uh, I think, let's move that right about there. Okay, you like that? Are we all happy with that? All right. I have to put the big uh, jack in there. Ah, uh, or not. I think it'll do okay. Let's see how she looks. Okay. Saying I wanted that section. just about right so I needed that so it was pretty close so we got that I'll trim that up trim that up weld a right and a left together and um, I think that, that will work because I needed 90 millimeters of this section okay let me bend a couple more All right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, so I've got some of these kind of trimmed up and I just hose clamped them together and I'm just gonna tack them. And then of course we've got to, I'll end up using a section. So I'm not sure 
where I am with this. So, that's it. I've never welded on the camera before, so this is going to be new. No, we set right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I usually don't use that much filler on this because if I've got enough of a seam, I can just kind of blow down it like that. But sometimes tacking it, it's just easier to get a little spot started. We need a little more vice. And this stuff is so much easier than blowing through stainless though. Holy shit, you can control it. Stainless is a pain in the arse. Oh, maybe we'll do one just right there. Probably gonna cut that off, but That's all right. Woo. A little too much amperage there. But, anyway. That's good enough for a, a little taxi, and then we'll start trimming it up to where we need it. I think that'll work. All right, so I got three degree section, six degree section. Of course, this has all got to be trimmed up and Stuff, which I've done I've started on this one not quite there but of course I've got to get the that section right in this section so I found I made some exhaust 
um, spigots before. So, they were pretty close, so I had to machine them down from where I don't remember what the hell they were for. Um, we need a metric. Where's some metric? There's one. See, that's the joy of working in a complete fucking disaster area, is you know the tools are right there. They're just about to jump in your hand. So, it's pretty close. We need to blend a little bit, but yeah, I think pretty damn good. And then, of course, we've got some stainless, uh, shit. How about one that fits? That'd be smart. There we go. They do fit. All right, and then that, of course, will be trimmed down to size. So, somewhere about right there. And then that'll be our slip fit. And then the cylinders I've got to put on the bike to get this uh, correct and cut it off and then start building the rest of it. So, making some progress. Progression. I do need to, I guess those clear. I was gonna countersink those and put uh, flat heads in, but maybe they'll clear all right. And that's it. So, that's where we are. What do you think? <laughs>